All right. Good morning, everyone that is here. We're going to get going. Only thing you will need today are is a towel. Bath towel is fine. Sweat towel, washcloth would be too small. You may want some resistance bands, glute loop, mini bands, totally optional. That's only equipment. We're going to get started with our ramp. I'll admit people as they hop in. So if I hop up for a second, that's what I'm doing. All right, we're gonna start with supine breathing. So just go ahead and come down to the floor. If you're staying standing today, that's okay. Step into that workout space, that mental space. Really connect with your breath here. Come here, come here. Few more breaths. Stick with it. All right. When you're ready, make your way up to that open half kneel. Make sure that foot's right in line with the knee. Pry that knee into the back wall behind you. Slide the knee right over the toe. We're going for five on each side. Squeeze that planted glute. One more on the right side if you're going with me or your left. And switch when you're ready. Get those juices flowing. I don't have my special assistant today because he actually got his COVID shot, so he's pretty exhausted. <laughs> So I gave, I gave him the day off. <laughs> All right, we're going into a quadruped hydrant. I'll show you guys from this side, we've done this before. Make sure you keep that 90 degree angle behind the leg or behind the knee and don't open those hips up. So I don't want to see this. That back and those hips flat as a board. Eight on each side, guys. One more on this side if you're with me and we're gonna switch. You grip your fingertips on the floor. It'll create a little bit more tension. Zip up that rib cage. One more here. Beautiful. All right, come up to standing. We've got our standing, no money. If you like to use a band for this, you can. Don't have to. Pin those elbows to your rib cage. I don't want them to come out and then we're rotating the shoulder joint out. Notice how I'm not popping my chest, but right in that shoulder joint. We're going for eight. You're on number five if you're with my tempo. This should feel really good on those shoulders. Get that mobility in the upper back. All right, we are going into our squat prize. Take advantage of this. We got a lot of squats today. We're gonna hold for five seconds at the bottom. We're going for five, okay? So if you can, slide those elbows between the knees. Pry them open at the bottom. Five Mississippis and squeeze at the top. If you guys can see me, I want you to watch my hips on this next one. I've got a flat, a neutral spine right here. Five Mississippis at the bottom. Notice how I come up to a vertical plank. I don't let my hips come too far forward. Notice where your hips are at the top of your squat. And squeeze at the top. Got one more after this. And one more. Think into those heels, slide those knees right over the pinky toes. All right, you guys, we're gonna work on some single leg balance work. So what I want you to try is what we're gonna, there's two options here. We're holding for 15 seconds each is what we're aiming for. Tap when you need to. You can bend your leg or if you wanna challenge your balance, you can straighten it, okay? We're going 15 seconds on each side. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Pick your level. Have those arms out at a T if that's helpful. 
Five seconds. Hold it. Squeeze. And you're done. All right, left leg or other leg, whatever one. We're going in three, two, one. Pick your level. You want to challenge your balance extra, have your arms on top or in front. Four seconds, two, and one. Very nice, you guys. All right, last but not least, we have our sun salutations. So we are going to go ahead and do that little modified version. So go ahead and we're going to start right in, um, go ahead and come to the ground. We're going to start right into our down dog. So go ahead and push up however you want driving those hips into the ceiling. Focus on keeping a neutral spine. Notice how my spine's not bent. If you need to bend your knees to keep your spine neutral, then do that, that's okay. Roll one vertebrae at a time over to that tap of push-up hold and exhale as you slowly lower down in plank. Go ahead and raise up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push up into down dog. We're gonna hang in down dog for about 10 more seconds. Really sink deep into this position. Where are you carrying the most tension? All right, slowly roll to top of push-up hold. Exhale, lower down the plank. Squeeze up to cobra. Push up to down dog. Last one here, guys. Take your down dog how it feels best for you. If you want to pedal the feet, you want to bend the knees, but keep those hips sky high. Pop in that booty. All right, roll over to the top of push-up hold. Exhale, slowly lower down. And finish with one more cobra because we didn't start with it. All right, you guys, hopefully you're feeling warm. Grab a sip of water. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our workout. Okay. Today we have full metabolic. We got strength and cardio, all functional. Uh, we have three, four circuits. So we're gonna start with core as always. We have first top of push up hold mountain climbers. You guys have done these a million times down and top of push-up hold. Beauty of these is you can pick your intensity level. If you want to sprint, you can. You want to take it low impact, great. If you're not getting on the ground today, you're standing. Again, low impact is always an option. That's our first move. Um, we're gonna go 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of recovery. Our second move, we have dead bug hollow holds. So we're gonna come down to the ground on our back there's a couple options here. So pay attention to which one I do and then pick, pick yours. So normal dead bugs we've done before right here. So a hollow hold is essentially part of the dead bug that we're just gonna, we're gonna hold as an isometric hold. So option, we can be here. Make sure you're crushing that belly button into the ground below you. This looks like it's doing nothing. I'm working my core right now. Next option, one leg down. I will tell you when to switch if that's your option. That's the option I'm going to be doing today. Last option, if you really want to challenge your core, you're going to have both legs out. My one caution with this, with having both legs out, is it's really easy. We'll start to notice if you've ever seen when people's abs start to like make a mountain in the middle of their, of their stomach. You don't want your low back to come up at all off the ground during this. That's really important. You'll always hear me say cinch up your waistband muscles. What I mean by that is there's muscles that run across, the muscle fibers run this way down in the bottom of our abs versus like our six pack abs run this way. I want you to think of if those transverse abdominals, if I had a waistband and you're cinching them together, like you're trying to bring your hip bones closer together. All right. Those are our two exercises for core work today. Then we'll move on to our first uh, resistance training or first metabolic circuit. So any questions on those two moves or the options? Thumbs up if we're good to go. All right, okay, I'm gonna turn our music up. 
grab one last sip of water if you need. I'm gonna turn it a little bit up because you guys are my pros. I don't need to talk quite as much. Okay. We're gonna get going in five seconds with those top and push-up hold mount, mountain climbers. So make your way to the ground. We're going in three, two, one. 20 seconds, that first cardio peak. You're still warming up. Take it low impact. Three. Two, one, recover. Just 20 seconds here, then we're right into dead bug hollow hold. So make it count. You got 11 seconds to make it down to the ground. All right, five seconds. Remember your options here or here. Okay, here we go. Three, two, and one. I will tell you when to switch if you're with, with me. All right, switch. Make sure there's 90 degree angles behind that knee. Don't, don't let them come into your chest. All right, done. Whew. Man, 10 seconds sounds like nothing until you're doing a hollow hold. All right, guys, we have one minute of recovery now. 50 seconds now. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna get through three core circuits, so two more. How am I on volume? Are we okay, guys? Okay. All right, 10 seconds and we're back to mountain climbers. Make your way down or stay standing if that's you today. This time I'm gonna focus on squeezing those armpits like you got oranges in there, you're trying to make orange juice. All right, here we go, 20 seconds. Stay connected with your breath. Two, one, recover. 20 seconds. Especially on these shorter recoveries, really connect with the breath. Draw it deep into the belly. All right, dead bug hollow hold in five. Lay down. Three, two, one. Think about cinching up that waistband, crushing that lobe spine into the floor. And switch. Two and one. Recover. Looks like you guys. Abs should start to feel warm. Mine are burning. <laughs> we got one minute. And we've got one more round of our core. If you have a heart rate monitor, you may consider paying attention to how fast your heart rate recovers and then kind of play around, see what you can do to make it recover faster. All right. 10 seconds, start making your way down to your tap of push-up hold, or if you're staying standing, always remember your options. Okay, three, two, one. Let's hit it one last time. Cinching those waistband muscles. Drive the knees with your abs. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Quick 15 more. And we're back to dead bug hollow hold. Make your way down if you're not there already. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And 
switch. Keep holding, push, push, push. Recover, guys. Let's work. All right. Four was not too bad, right? Should be feeling it though. This is the kind of core circuit that you might not feel as much today, but oh, you're gonna feel it tomorrow. Okay. Our first, so our first metabolic circuit. By the way, I'm. I, it won't take that long for me to explain today. But if you feel like you're recovered, you're at about 70% of your heart rate max or lower. Go ahead and just start either jogging in place or getting your boxer bounce going. Okay, so circuit one, we have goblet squats. And then you're gonna, this is when you're gonna want your towel. So um, with our goblet squat, the towel will be for the next one. Sorry, that was confusing. With our goblet squats, we're going from goblet squats to sumo, bottom half sumo squats. So we've done this before, feet hip width distance apart. We're going six regular goblet squats, keeping the chest up, prying the knees apart. And then we're going for six, so six regular goblet squats, then you're gonna go heel, toe out. That's gonna tell you your distance. You go to the bottom half, and we're gonna pulse for six. So if there's one thing you focus on with these goblet squats, or these sumo squat bottom half sumo squats, <laughs> this is a tongue twister, <laughs> is pry the knees. We don't think about it as much when we're in this super wide stance. It's easier for our knees to come in. Don't let them cave in. Pry them out as hard as you can. That's how you're gonna get that booty like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> okay, uh, then we have our prone Ws. So this is where you're gonna want your towel. Recall that prone position means you're down on your belly. I'll give you an option if you don't wanna get on the ground today. And then think Superman like you guys have seen when people do supermans. You're squeezing the glutes. I want you to squeeze your heels and knees together like you got a dollar bill in your knee heels, knees, and glutes. You're trying to keep it in there. Pry that towel apart and then slowly and controlled, bring it down to the sternum, like down to your collarbone. Bring it this way if you can see better. That right here, neutral neck, okay? If you don't want to get into prone position, go ahead and move into that hinge. And we've done these before. Make sure you're thinking about that paper towel under your feet, spreading the floor, okay? Those are your options. Um, we're moving our intervals up to 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. Anybody have questions here? You feeling good about the options? Thumbs up? Okay, good deal. We are going to get going, grab a sip of water, give you about 20 seconds to prep, and if you need a towel, you can run grab it. Alright, we are going to get going in 10 seconds with our goblet squat. If you want a weight, you're more than welcome to use one. Okay, we're going in five, remember six and six. Go with my speed or faster or slower. Okay, here we go. Six goblet squats. All right, here with me. Heel, toe out, bottom half. Pry those knees apart. You got me haunted, cause when I sleep. All right, all the way up. Heel, toe back in, about hip width distance. Back to six goblet squats. Keep that chest up, guys. I want to see the logo on your shirt. Five seconds. Heel toe out. You're there. Three, two, and one. Recover. Let's work, you guys. 30 seconds to grab your towel and reconnect with your breast if you need to. All right, 15 seconds. Remember, you don't have to get down into that prone position on the ground. You can be in that hinge. All right, guys, here we go. In three, two, one. Squeeze everything. Think about those oranges in your armpits here at the bottom of the W. Make an 
orange juice in those armpits. Not that I want to drink any of that. Stick with it. Got five seconds. Two and one. Bring it up. Ooh, man, that is a full body move if you're really squeezing everything. All right, you got 60 seconds and we're back to our goblet squats. We're doing a lot of full body moves that might feel slow, but if you're creating as much tension as you can, your heart rate should stay up. All right, 10 seconds, guys, and we're back to our goblet squats. You decide you wanna grab a weight, now's the time. We're going in five, three, two, one. I want you to resist gravity on the way down. Maximize the efficiency of your moves. You're working hard anyway. May as well maximize it. After you hit six, Heel toe out into that sumo position. Find your bottom half. Squeeze at the top. Bring it back in. Six goblets. Heel toe out. Don't forget our circuit, find your bottom half, dry those knees, five, six, two, one, nice work you guys, 30 seconds, grab your towel, one thing I really want you guys to think about, make sure those shoulders are staying low, I don't want to see shoulders up in the ears with these these W's. All right, make your way down. We're going in three, two, one. As much tension as you can possibly create. You determine how hard your workout is, not me. Pull on the towel like you're trying to rip it apart. You're the Hulk. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Make your way back up. Use the towel. And we're gonna move on to our second workout, or our second, second metabolic circuit. Again, if your heart rate recovers before I'm done explaining, move to boxer bounce or dog in place, whatever you want to get that heart rate back up. Okay, so this circuit, we have an isometric hold as well as some, some cardio. So first we have a ladder drill that we're gonna go. So imagine there's a, I'm, there's a, I'm inside of a ladder rung. I'm going in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So I want you to pick your feet up like there's a ladder on the floor and you're, you don't want to trip over it, okay? So this is great. You can go as fast as you want. You can go as slow as you want. If you want low impact today, totally great. If you want to sprint as fast as you can, great. 30 seconds there, 30 seconds of recovery. Then we're moving into our isometric bridge hold. This is where, if you want, you may want your mini bands. I'm gonna show you with a mini band, but it's completely optional. If you have a mini band, you're gonna put it right around the knees. Some people like to use two and have one over the knees, one below. That isometric, anytime you see isometric, it just means you're holding the move still. So, palms face the sky, heels are pretty close to my butt, but not touching. And I'm gonna drive the hips up and pry the knees apart. If there's only one thing you focus on, I'm gonna give you two things to focus on. Pry the knees apart, and then I want you to squeeze your glutes 
with a neutral spine. I don't wanna see, I hope you guys can see how I'm letting my low back hang now. Don't do that. Tuck that tailbone, use your glute, okay? So we're holding there for 30 seconds. And those are our two moves. Um, any questions on those? We're gonna see if we can get through three of these. All right. I can see people are getting their heart rates back up. I like it. I'm gonna turn the music up. And we're gonna start in about 10 seconds. Reconnect with your breath. Get ready for this third cardio peak. Okay, five seconds. Remember, you can do low impact or high impact. Two, one, let's go. Don't lose connection with your breath. You're halfway. Stick with it. If you can maintain the same speed the whole 30 seconds. And adjust next round if we need. Here, there, three, two, one. Woo! All right, 30 seconds, and we're to our bridge hold. So, if you'd like your mini band, start making your way to the ground and put your mini band on. You got 10 more seconds to get ready. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Pry, pry those knees. Up that tailbone. Keep prying those knees. Easy to forget. Three, two, and one. Recover. Whew. Biscuits should be burning now. All right, another 15 seconds. Go back to our ladders. All right, five seconds. Peak that heart, that heart rate again. Three, two, and one. Hit your speed and your impact. You are halfway. Stick with it. Don't give up now. Five seconds. Two, one, recover. 30 seconds, and back to our bridge hold. While you guys are making your way down, I want you to watch one thing. Notice how on my bridge hold, I see this a lot. Okay, so notice, I'm coming down to about my ribs, as far as where my, my upper body's planted. I see this a lot. You can see I'm like right on my shoulders. That's too high. I'm pushing my hips too high. Stay a little bit lower down kind of on my scapula. All right, we have an extra 10 seconds of recovery. We're going in three, two, one. Grab the knee. Tuck that tailbone. Hold it, hold it. Three, two, one. Oof, D. Cover. We're gonna go for one more of these. We got one more ladder drill. You can kiss them goodbye. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Last round of ladders. Give it your all.
got less than 10 seconds. You're there, you are strong. Three, two, one. Woo. Your mini band if you have one. You have 15 seconds to make your way down. All right, I gave you a few things to think about with these. And I'm gonna let you have at it. Pay attention to the bridge and where you can improve. All right, we're going in five. One. We're halfway, so check in with yourself. Where have you been letting go? Stop prying your knees. Cover guys. Woo. Nice work. That's a tough one. All right. Grab your water. We are on to our finisher. Otherwise known as energy systems training. Uh, so this is your cardio peak. So as always, listen to your body and make it count. This is where we're gassing the tank. Anything you have left, this is it. We have a final countdown, a 10 to one. So we start with pop and stops, which you guys have seen before. So recall when we were doing our ramp and I was talking about at the top of our squat, make sure you're in that vertical plank. I don't wanna see your hips come too far forward. It's the exact same thing with our pop and stops. So pop and stops, we start in this vertical plank. If you guys have ever seen kettlebell swings, these are essentially a kettlebell swing without the kettlebell. So feet hip width distance apart and then drive those hips back into that hinge. So this is where we wanna make sure we're not squatting. Hips are not going down, hips are going back. So I want you to pretend like if there's a shelf or a wall right behind your butt, you're pushing it back with your hips. When you're closing your car door with your hips, you don't bring your hips down, you drive them back. So that's the biggest thing with that hinge movement. That pop and stop for anyone that hasn't done that before. You're gonna go as fast as you can. Back and forth, okay? The biggest thing I see here is people bringing their hips too far forward. That means you're not bracing your core quite as well. I want you to think like action figure, so much tension that if I were to come over to you in your living room and shove you over, you wouldn't even move. You're like a pillar, okay? So we have pop and stops. And our countdown is 10 to one. I think I said that, but so we'll go 10, then nine, then eight. Then we have inchworms. Excuse me, we have static bear um, for 10 breaths and then nine breaths and then eight. So that static bear, for those that haven't done it, down in that quadruped position on all fours, tuck those toes under, lift those knees about an inch. You want your back flat as a table. Like I could set a glass of water and it's not gonna spill. So that is our finisher. Pop and stops to static bear. So the count 10 reps for pop and stops and then 10 breaths for static bear. So we may all be at different paces. That's totally okay. You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. You may be breathing faster or slower than me too. So listen to your body, make it count and drain the tank, whatever's left, okay? And then we'll get you a little cool down before we have to go. All right. Grab that last sip of water if you need. We're gonna start in 10 seconds, okay? Just pop and stop. I'm gonna show you guys from the side. And pay attention to my hips, how they're not coming forward. All right, three, two, one. Four with those legs. Idea. I started doing 30 seconds, sorry. Okay, as quickly as you can. Minimal recovery, right down the static bear. 
All right, I'm up. It's hard to tell when my knees are there, but I'm starting my 10 breaths. Maybe now and then I think about me now and who I could have been And then I picture all the perfect that we lived Till I cut the all right, as soon as you hit 10 Minimal rest and you are at nine pop and stops Hit nine And then nine breaths from the static bear Those armpits. Recover when you need. We're at eight if you're with me. Keep spreading the floor like you're ripping apart the paper towel under your feet. It's gonna really stabilize you. All right, if you're with me, we're going for eight. Back down. It gets quick. All right, if you're with me, we're at seven. Three, two, one. All right, I'm going in three, two, one. Seven breaths on those toes. Grip the floor so your fingertips turn white. Okay, right. six pop and stops, here we go. Continue to breathe deep into your belly. The faster our heart rate gets, the harder it is to do that, to be mindful of that. All right, five. We're more than halfway there. You can do five of anything, I believe. <laughs> All right, five breaths. Nice work, you guys. Sorry, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right, you guys should have done four breaths at Static Bear. We're down to three. Get down. Three breaths. Down to two. It's like 30 seconds left in your workout. You got this. All right, no breaks. Two breaths. One pop and stop and one breath and static bear. You guys did it. Nice work. Give you a little cool down. Let's go back to my other song. I almost timed it perfect. All right, guys, grab your water. You guys are awesome. Patrick told me he likes rap music, so I had to stick this in because I love rap. But I know not everybody does. All right, let's go ahead and make it down to the floor. We're gonna come into that butterfly position. Bring those heels as close to your pelvis as you can, as long as it feels comfortable. And just let gravity pull your knees down. But you're doing well. If it feels good to you, lower your chest down. See if you can keep a neutral spine for the most part, though. 
they I don't necessarily need to see this. I can give a care. They talk so much on me. They must be doing something right. We're gonna go ahead and extend just I one leg out. In the likeness of a full grown man. Flex so your foot. So I still can. Flex your foot and go ahead and sink the chest down. I want you to lead with your chest. You can see West LA. Your knee. And just breathe. Remember that you guys can always reconnect with your breath at any point during your day. It is scientifically proven to help relax you. If you can, if you can relax that hamstring just a little bit more as you exhale, sink a centimeter deeper. We're gonna stick here for a sec. You get to so let's celebrate. help control the weather in your headspace. And the breath is one of many ways to do that. It's something that you always have with you. All right, go ahead and switch legs. So bring that leg you just stretched into your, into your inside of your thigh. Lead with the chest. We're just gonna hang here for about 30 seconds. I would encourage you guys to close your eyes. And every time you exhale, I want you to exhale any anxiety or negative energy that you feel like you're holding in your body, especially in your muscles. Every time you think that you've relaxed your muscle as far as you can, See if you can exhale and relax it a millimeter deeper. Five more seconds here. All right, go ahead and roll up. Come up to standing. You guys get a little twist in your spine. You're gonna stretch the neck. So really, really gently grab about where your ear is on the opposite side of your head. So let's I want you to pull, don't pull Still down, can. but pull to the side like I'm trying to pull my head over to the window. Just so you feel that stretch. I mean, I must have accidentally pressed shuffle just barely or something. All right. Go ahead and switch sides if you haven't already. Thank you guys for showing up this morning for yourself. Of course, I love to see your faces, but it makes a much bigger difference to your day that you show up for yourself and for your body than it does to mine. If you ever want to get a really deep stretch here, grab a really light weight in this, in this free hand. That's something you can do at any point in the day to relieve tension in your neck. That's something you can do to help control the stresses of your day. All right, you guys have been awesome. Thank you guys. Um, I thought this was a fun class. Um, and I think, Patrick, is your daughter here? Is she in here? Uh, nice, I think, I know you're on mute, Patrick, but I think it's Kiana, is that right? Okay, cool, Kiana, very happy to have you here. <laughs> um, hopefully we get to see more of you. Thank you guys for being here, you guys are awesome. Have an awesome Thursday and I will see you soon. Thanks, Abby. This was a good class. Loved it. Hey, good. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.